hey, the rewired soul, I'm gonna need you to call an electrician right quick because that shit's faulty. <laughs> So, Rewired Soul, we have to have a conversation, professional to professional. Um, but before we get into that, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Journey to Find Kay, and I'm Kay, and I'd like to talk about mental health, weight loss, honestly, anything that triggers me to get on this camera and have a conversation. So definitely stick around if you want to hear me have this conversation with Chris. I just got to get it off my chest. So hi chris i know you're watching this video i know you're going to see it because i i just know that you are looking to see if anyone made a video about you and you're going to watch the videos made about you and so i say hi how are you doing um i wanted to get on this video as a professional and kind of explain to you why everyone is mad at you myself included because we are just tired okay we are just tired so before i get into why we're tired let me give you a little bit of background information about me okay i currently reside in arizona i basically have a lot of the same credentials as you i started off in mental health working in substance abuse treatment centers i started with a woman's substance abuse tr treatment center that was just for general mental health patients so that meant either they had a mental health condition or not but they mainly were focusing on substance abuse so that program was a big 12-step program they went to na they went to aa they went to ca meetings all of that jazz I then went to a different, I worked at that facility for a year. I then went to a different facility. I decided I wanted to work with women who had substance abuse issues as well, but were also dealing with severely mentally ill conditions also. So it's called a co-occurring residential facility. They have a seriously mental, serious mental illness, um, and they also have substance abuse as another diagnosis. So I worked there for three years, um, enjoyed my job, done groups, did all of that. They weren't really super based on um, going to meetings. They did go to meetings, but a lot of it was also therapy, cognitive um, behavioral therapy, and also group discussions that based off of that as well um, and other therapy things, but they were very big on CBT. Um, so... I worked there for three years and now I am currently working at a mental health clinic as a case manager. Love my job. This is something I consider my career. I consider working in mental health something I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Um, it is my passion. It is something I truly live for, not just because of um, I am a mental health patient. I do have my own diagnoses, I do have my own doctor, I take medications, but also because I had substance abuse running in my family, I also have dealt with substance abuse issues myself. Um, I consider myself as somebody who is in recovery, and I did my recovery different than anybody, uh, than most people would say they've done recovery. Um, but I understand, I work in this field, I love my job, um, and with that being said, seeing someone as you who states that they have basically the same background as me, except for me, I don't know if you've gone to college, I have. Um, hey you guys, so editing K real quick. I totally forgot to mention how I got so heated and what video made me this heated to talk about the rewired soul. Hi Chris, um, I was watching Smoky Glow, I'm going to link her video up here. Linky K, link the video. Um, I was watching her, I love her, her channel is awesome. A Little bit of makeup, a lot of common sense. And um, she just had a lot of valid points that kind of got me going and I wanted to speak from a professional point of view. So I wanna give her her props for also bringing this topic back up to me. Cause like I said, I was subscribed to him before stopped she brought it back up to my attention today so i want you guys to check out her video as well all right now back to my video completed my bachelor as of yet just because of financial reasons but i am literally 
like not even a half a year away honestly it's just coming up with the money for it you know what I mean life happens um but we basically have a lot of the same credentials a lot of the same experience and so that was one of the reasons back in the day I used to subscribe to you I think my personal channel is still subscribed to you that's changing after I upload this sorry um but I kind of left it there because I was going to give you the benefit of a doubt and then this stuff popped up and now no that's not there any longer um but now that you know my background you can understand why I'm saying I'm speaking to you as a professional I'm not coming from you from the per personal side because that's a totally different thing that I could go off on but I'm coming from you as a professional okay and the reason why everyone is upset with you professionally speaking is the fact that you sit here and you tell and throw around your education your experience these titles that you call yourself by substance abuse um what is it substance abuse coach or sober coach or whatever the case it is now I don't know what you call yourself now um you throw that around you throw around your educate you working in substance abuse treatments but yet your behaviors do not coincide as someone who has these this type of education and understanding it just doesn't and that is why people are upset with you like I said I used to watch your videos I watched your videos because as someone who works in this field and also as someone who on the personal side is dealing with all the other stuff I wanted someone that I could relate to I wanted to watch someone who understood both sides of the field um, you see a lot of people who do share about their own mental health journeys but a lot of times you don't see people who are talking about working in the field and also dealing with that and all of that stuff right so I was watching you for that but then you became problematic you were continuously having topics about the same drama the same person who I personally have called out myself because they're trash and I, I stick by that all the way because they use mental health and substance abuse as a way to make money it's I don't believe that they suffer from half the shit that they bullshit on on the um on their platform so I believe that person is trash so I have called that person out as well um but you had consistently done it and you had that drama in the beginning of this year and that is where you stop I stopped watching you because it was true I'm sorry like that whole thing you already know what I'm talking about I don't need to rehash that all stuff I let that go I left my channel um I left you alone I stopped watching you I left my personal page still subscribe to you because I still wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt as a, someone who works in this field is t we have a tendency to do because we do know that people can get better and they can learn from their mistake their mistakes this recent shit you have not learned from your mistakes you have not sat here and shown any type of growth and the reason why i say that is because again you use these titles you share this experience you say that you've worked in substance abuse treatment centers and yet you sat here and you made three videos about someone who is newly in their recovery as someone who has worked in substance abuse treatment centers and is in recovery yourself you should understand how fragile a person is in their recovery especially in their new recovery you should understand this you should understand that the words that come out of your mouth have weight especially as someone who is being vocal about your past what you've done and where you work and what you do for a living you should understand the words that come out of your mouth hold more weight than it does than someone who's just jumping on here saying, hey, that's not right because you have that education. You are expected to know better. And yet you still decided to jump your butt on your camera and point out a situation that you know nothing about. You do not work with this female. You were not in her treatment center. You are not her therapist. You're not her psychiatrist. You're not her case manager. You are not part of her clinical team, period. But you still jumped on your platform in the guise saying that, oh, I'm bringing awareness and education to what you should and shouldn't do. Fully aware that she is new in her recovery, that she has not been out of rehab long. Did we forget what that feels like? Have you been sober for so long that you cannot remember 
that feeling, the clusterfuck that is being in recovery, newly in recovery, those emotions, those thoughts, you don't remember that? You don't remember your times and your trainings when you're working in a substance abuse treatment center and understanding what to look for and how to treat people who are in their new recovery? You don't remember any of that? Because if you did, you would not have done that. You would not have got on a public platform and publicly shamed someone who is newly in recovery on a situation on top of that that you have no idea about. And then instead of fixing it and addressing it and apologizing for it, you sat here and you deflected and gaslighted saying that everyone is just trying to enable people who are newly in their recovery or in recovery you're just we're just trying to enable these bad behaviors what are you talking about please make that make sense how is that enabling them when we understand the fragility that is being in new recovery. When we understand the stuff that they are feeling and going through, where does it make sense to get on my public platform and shame them for possibly being in a relationship, even though I don't know if that is the case or not? You went and you shamed her saying, who would say that's okay? That's not. And put it under the guise of educating the masses. Bull crap. You found something that you could make a video about and get some views on and you took advantage. Point blank period. Because if that was your client in real life, Say that was your client in your treatment center and you didn't agree with her actions, with her getting in a relationship. I know damn well you would not call her out in no group setting like that. Especially because you would know her, you would know her diagnoses, you would know her symptomology, her triggers. You would have more of an understanding of that person. But just as a general rule, you would not have sat there and called her out right all in front of her peers. Shaming her, making her feel bad. What you would have most likely did was pulled that client to the side and had a personal one on one conversation and reminded in a more empathetic and gentler way. You, there's no problem with being tough love. There's no problem with being honest. Because as someone who has worked in the substance abuse treatments as well, I can contest it's not the most professional place, which is another reason why I love my field. I can be myself. I can talk to my clients like I'm talking to you. Because I have that rapport. They understand that it's coming from my heart. I'm treating them as I would a, any normal human being. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's a time and a place and there's a way to do it and doing it publicly on a platform, which, you know, can generate hate and have people coming and bombarding her with horrible comments, negative comments, talking shit. And she's newly in her recovery totally contradicts what your little hill platform that you try to stand on and preach to your followers about. It contradicts that. That's not advocating, that's not bringing awareness, that, that's not educating, that's semi-bullying. That's shit-talking, that's bashing. And that's not okay. That's not something a professional, someone who truly understands recovery, substance abuse, mental health would do. <coughs> Excuse me. 
You would look at Taylor Nicole Dean as someone who would possibly be a client and treat them with the same respect as you would that client. I would hit her up in her DMs and say, hey, I just want to let you know I'm super proud of you for taking that first step. I don't know you personally. Offer her some type of support as someone who is also in recovery. Be that olive leaf. Be somebody that she might be able to turn to that she doesn't know personally, but knows that has been through it and understands. You could have did it privately that way. If you wanted to do a public education about what is expected for of people it, newly in recovery, you wouldn't have attached her name on it. You could have got on here and made a video and said, hey, if you're thinking about going in recovery, here's some things. Or if you're new into recovery or if you want to know what's expected of people new in recovery, these are some guidelines that they try to advance. I remember when put your personal experience in there. But you did not have to call her out on name if that's how you want to educate. But that's not what you were doing. You chose a hot topic that you knew would get you views and clicks that you could spin to look like that you're educating about your platform that you try to say you're standing on. But all that you really did was sit there and downplay, down talk and shit talk to someone who's newly in recovery and as someone who would say who says they're a substance abuse professional or someone who works in this field, you would know that is not the way to do it. Especially because you don't know this woman. She and then you had the audacity to get on camera your last video and say that people are mad because you were speaking the truth. In that they're just basically trying to enable bad behaviors, which would hinder her recovery. No, sir. What was happening was people were calling you out because you're supposed to be a substance abuse worker in recovery. Someone who's supposed to really have empathy and understanding. And you bash someone who's newly in recovery. You shit it on someone who's in new recovery, who just got out of rehab not that long ago. You sit here and you're getting all this hate because you sit here and you throw out titles. You throw out work experience, stating that you know what you're talking about. You're educated, that you get you know more than the lay person. And yet you sat here and contradicted yourself by shitting on someone who's new in their recovery. Calling you out on that, on your hypocrisy, is not enabling. We're not enabling her. What it is, is we're calling you out on the fact that you're not living up to what you say you're supposed to be trying to do with your platform. You're doing the opposite. That's not enabling her. It's taken into consideration that we don't know this woman. And then on top of that, that you sat there in your own video, showed tweets where she told you that you had it wrong. That that wasn't a relationship. But you automatically treated her as a liar and said, no, you need to just be a better role model for recovery. What? But you worked in substance abuse, right? You understand recovery, right? She sat there and told you you were wrong. That that wasn't it. But you sat there and you still just treated her as a liar. That's not something someone who works and understands recovery would do. What you would should have done is acknowledge the fact that you possibly had that wrong. Apologize for speaking on her recovery before she was ready. Making that assumption and explain that you were just trying to really educate what is really recommended for those in recovery. If that is really what you were trying to do. But that's not what you were trying to do. You weren't because there's too many steps in here where you could have proven that's what you were trying to do that you totally bypassed, that you totally wiggled by. You can't sit here and get on this platform and call yourself and state you're educated and you understand recovery. You're in recovery. You get it. You're trying to advocate. You're trying to educate about mental health. Let's speak about it. Let's break the stigma. Let's do this. And then shit on the exact population you say you're trying to help.
you can't do that. You can't do that. That's hypocritical. And that's not why we're in this field. And if that is why you're in the field, then you have it totally wrong. That's not how we we go about this. That's not how we go about this. And it's that's why you're getting so much flack. And as a professional, let me just make sure you understand. I'm making sure you get why you're getting all of this. It's not, oh, you speak too true. It's none of that. Because I will be the first one, like I said, to admit I talk to them like I'm talking to you right now. Because I'm going to treat them like they are real people. We're going to have a real conversation. So it ain't about that. It's about the fact that you want to sit here and claim these titles, this education. Yet, you're continuing to shit on the population that you're supposedly trying to help. Make it make sense, sir. Make it make sense. Because if you're really trying to help, you could have DM'd her and told her your concerns offered her some assistance, offered your support. You could have got on your platform and just celebrated her, the fact that she took that, that step to go see, get that treatment and left it at that. That could have been your only video if that's really what you were trying to do. If you were really trying to educate, if you saw that situation and you were really trying to educate, you could have hopped on, maybe hinted at maybe who you were talking about, but you didn't have to name her by name. And people calling you out for it is not enabling no bad behavior. It's not be enabling anybody um, to continue in any type of negative behavior that could jeopardize their recovery. It's what it is. It's calling you out for your hypocrisy. It's calling you out for shitting on the people you say that you are trying to help. It's not enabling. So that last video you put up, you can take that down. You can quit gaslighting us for that 30 minutes because you gave us 16 minutes of a video of a story about you getting your friend to get to treatment. OK, that had nothing to do with the fact that you shitted on somebody who's newly in recovery. That had nothing to do with that. Your other story about, oh, what was it? Man, I'm telling you, I, li I really did have it on one time speed. I, I was listening. You had a whole nother story talking about, oh, which didn't make any sense either about a client who went home and lied to his family saying they, he said it was all their fault, not his fault. He was fine. They just needed to understand that had nothing to do with the fact that you were shitting on somebody who was newly in recovery. That's why you're getting called out. That is not what that is. It has nothing to do with you. Oh, speaking the truth. It has nothing with you um, being just brutally honest or whatever the hell you want to call it. It has everything to do with the fact that you throw around titles saying that you're in recovery, that you worked in substance abuse, that you are a substance sober coach, and yet you shit it on somebody who's newly in sobriety. That's exactly what it is. And as somebody who works in professional, who works in mental health, some Somebody who has worked in substance abuse treatment, somebody who has um, who lives this and is very passionate and believes in advocating and educating and ending, ending, ending this stigma. So you got me mad. I'm stuttering. But as somebody who is really passionate about this, I'm calling you out as well. Quit calling yourself a professional. Quit sitting here claiming these titles if you're not going to act like it. Just point blank, period. Quit it. You getting on these videos, gaslighting and swearing to goodness that everyone's against you because you're doing the ultimate good. Stop it because you know why we're mad. And if you don't know why now you just really had this long 20 about something minute. I don't know how long it's going to be by the time I'm done cutting it. You just had this long video explaining to you why we're mad. And I'm coming to you as a professional. I'm coming to you as somebody who works with these people every day. I'm coming to you as somebody who has almost the exact same type of uh, experience as you do. You've worked there three years, I did foe. Ooh, I'm still in the field just like I think you are. I would have never did that. And I best believe a lot of other professionals wouldn't have did what you did either. Because that was hypocritical that was shitty and you should be ashamed of yourself for even trying to justify it by saying that you're just calling it out and trying to stop the enabling and the toxic stuff around them stop no what it was was as somebody who's supposed to know better you behave just as bad as the ones who don't
and that's it point blank period if you have an issue i'm sorry take a break sit back do some thinking write it down journal it out and let me know when you come to that conclusion okay and that's basically it that's just all i have to say let me know down in the comments you guys if you agree with me if you understand where i'm coming from i'm just speaking professionally chris i'm letting you know this rewired soul we need that electrician in real quick maybe i'm the electrician maybe i just kind of helped get that kink out because it, it was faulty as hell for you to really believe that you could justify what you did that's faulty hopefully i fixed that i'm the electrician I'm the electrician. Hopefully, I rewired that soul. All right? I thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well so you get notified every time I post a video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.